українського капітана звільнено з піратського полону в Нігерії. Стан здоров'я нашого співвітчизника. On February 3rd, 2015, Maltese flagged super tanker MT Calamos was attacked by Nigerian pirates while anchored in territorial waters near an oil terminal off the coast of Nigeria. During the attack, one of the Calamos' officers was shot and killed. Three other crew members were kidnapped and taken inland where they were held for ransom for three weeks. The Calamus incident was one of 54 total piracy incidents that occurred in the Gulf of Guinea in 2015. Its 25 crew members represent a small fraction of the 1,225 total seafarers subjected to incidents of piracy throughout the year. To date, not a single perpetrator has been prosecuted for these crimes. Despite recent efforts by coastal states in the Gulf of Guinea to increase their naval capacity, resulting in a few high-profile arrests, they have failed to establish effective systems for prosecution. As in the case of the MT Calamos, this allows criminals to go free even after incidents of extreme violence. This lack of legal follow-through allows pirates in the region to act with impunity and limits incentive for industry to report incidents that occur. According to the International Maritime Bureau, up to 70% of piracy incidents in the Gulf of Guinea go unreported. Even with the limited progress that has been made toward combating piracy in the region, there is still no justice for the seafarers who have fallen victim to pirates. Without effective legal mechanisms to bring maritime criminals to trial, piracy will continue to fester in West Africa.